Hi guys and here again from Madla Designs with another in the print and play series and this time we're going to be looking at Twin Stars by Jason Tagmeyer and Michael Mullins and um, of the time of this video being recorded series one is free it's normally three dollars on P&P &P Arcade but series one is free there's a series two for three dollars if you wish to purchase that but Series 1 is free so you can take a look So I've made my own custom box This is just a box from an expansion I had uh, I painted it black, I think it's from Dark Venture You can just about see it coming through there um, Any expansion boxes where the expansion fits in the base game I don't throw the boxes out, I just spray paint them black Keep them to one side And any print and play stuff, see if it fits in And this one does quite nicely Oh, and the logo here I, I made myself. Um, I didn't draw the graphics, but I combined different things. This, the characters are from, um, I found them somewhere, the graphic, which I cut out, just the characters. Then I found a suitable background. Uh, I found a suitable font, and I put them all together to make this little logo. So yeah, it's my little custom box. So we have, Series 1, and that's all Series 1, and that's all free. And then we have Series 2, that's $3. And then we have a couple of other things which are free. Another Captain you can play, and a Campaign mode. So you can download those two for free as well. So we're not doing any of them, we're not doing Series 2. We are doing Series 1, and we do need certain tokens and things. So, let's put that to one side. What do you get in season one, uh, series one? Well, you get a load of scenarios and a load of characters. Instructions. Let's take a look at the instructions. Doesn't need much in the way of instructions. That is it. You fold it up. That's your instructions. And you get the characters. Uh, I'm going to put these three to one side for now. We're going to come back to that shortly. But we do get, uh, not characters, the um, scenarios. I've not done any of these apart from the one I've put down there, which we're going to get back to and show you. So I've no idea how these play. So it tells you on the back what's happening and then everything you need for this particular thing. And the characters... It recommends you play with. So we have Hunt the Bounty, Steal the Plans, Stop the Virus, Rule the World, Confine the Quarks, and that's it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six different scenarios. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 different characters. So this is all Series 1, and this is free for now. So if you want to get it, you better be quick. So you get all these different characters. This is your health. These are the different things you get when you are rolling the die, and I'm going to explain, obviously, all these things. You get a special action as well for each hero. And I have not played with any of these heroes. I've only ever done the first mission with the recommended heroes. So I have no idea how these play out. There you go. I've not even really spent time looking at them. Put those to one side because I've just played this one. So this is... Escape the brig. So the guard tosses you into the dark cell and you hear the bolt clank into place. Your cries of come back are answered only with laughter and heavy footfalls receding down the long corridor. As your eyes slowly adjust to the darkness, you realise you are not alone. We have to escape, the prisoner says. Now! And it says the recommended characters are Inzil May and Strazelsor. Or Strazelsia never pronounce him and these are the two characters 
So in this game we are down here. We need to escape before the guard who starts up here gets down to here. Okay, so I'm going to set these up and I'm going to explain as we play. So you will need, let's see what we need. See if I can get everything in the shot. Like that. Yeah, there we go. Just about. So we need two dice for rolling. It's going to be a rolling dice. Two dice for passing skills. We need cubes to specify the health. So I'm going to call him Strez. Strezelsio. I'm going to call him Strez. Strez has four, so I'm going to use a cube. Then I roll just to point at the four. Inzelme has three. Then we have um, us. We start here. And then we have the guard who starts here. Then we have here. Um, we can pick up a pick which will help us. And of course, I'll explain as we play. So, and then we have two energy we can use and then these off to one side right so let's have a look Strez he has a special action he can spend an energy to combine both dice and use that sum and then re-roll the other dice so you will see how that works and Inzel May has so you can spend an energy to heal either character. There we go. There's our skill. So, I've got the skill there for now. So how does a turn work? A turn works by you roll two die and then you're going to decide where you want to put them. So I'm going to roll these two. And we have a six and a three. So I could put the three on here for Inzel May or I could put the three on here for Strez and the six here for Inzel May or I can do that. And what we're looking for, we're either looking for two stars, so we need to combine. So if we can roll a one and a four, we're going to get two stars. And it says we can advance forward or take the pick and if you can see what the pick says oh, there we go it says we can move forward on a roll of a star and a tick because normally you can move, move forward on two stars you can also move forward on two ticks but you have to do a skill which I'll show you how to do a skill so it has to be two stars or two ticks if you get the pick and if you roll a star and a tick you can still count that as moving forward. So, that goes like that, that goes like that, that's the pick. So what do I want to do? We do not want to get two of these. These. If you get a combination of two of these, either one here and one on there, oops, there, or that one, then the guard is going to move forward and we don't want that. So we've got a six and a three. Um, I think I might do a six there. Uh, or shall I do a six there? I'm going to do the six there and the three here. So once you've rolled and you picked, you're going to do now what it says on the card in either order. So if we look at number three, we have this alert symbol. Now it doesn't do anything by itself. Luckily we didn't roll another alert symbol. So that does nothing for that one. This one is a tick. And because we need two ticks and we didn't get two ticks, this does nothing. So we've done nothing this turn. When you don't get a double, either two stars or two ticks or two 
um, alerts what you're going to do is you're going to take one die back to re-roll but you're going to turn spin the other one down by one so if I took the six to re-roll I would put this to two and it would be on the two here if I take this to re-roll this will go from six and it will go to five and I'm going to re-roll this one because if I spin this down from six which is a tick down to five it's also a tick so if I can roll a tick with this die then we can move forward and we've got a four and that is a tick so a tick and a tick if you look here two ticks so it says we can advance forward in the tunnel and we need to do a skill check okay so I'm gonna advance forward in the tunnel or we could send the guard back one but we can't send him any further back because he's right at the start now we have to do a skill check in order to do a skill check we're going to roll our skill die and let's show you can you see it says skill check so Strez has a skill check of three four five where Insel May has a skill check of one to four. So then we need to place both these die, these are the ones, aren't they? Into the skill check to try and pass. Um, and you can put either die in either one. So I'm gonna put the one in Insel May because she's definitely passed because it's in the blue skill check area. And we're gonna put the three on Strez. The three is in the skill check area so we have passed our skill check. If we didn't pass the skill check, we would have to damage one of the players. One of the players would lose a health. But we did pass the skill check, so we are on our way down this tunnel. And then you go around to the top again, so you roll a die. And we got a six and a three. I didn't, didn't I get that last time? So six and a three. They don't do anything, there's no, there's no doubles. So again, I'm gonna roll the three. Turn this down to five. Let's have a look. See if we can get past this guard. Wow. <laughs> I think we're going back in time here because I've just... That's exactly the same as what I got last time. So again, we're going to try and pass the skill. Let's see what we get. So we get a two and a five. I think we'll put the two in Insel May. And the five here. They are both within the skill checks. So we pass the skill check. So we scamper further down the tunnel. Luckily the guard can't hear us. So every time you get a double, I thought I didn't mention this, but every time you get a double, you take back both die and roll again. So let's have a look. A one and a six. Well, I certainly don't want to put the one there because two of these will immediately alert the guard and he'll move forward. So the one will have to go here, and the six will go here. Now again, there's no double doubling up of things, so I'm going to have to take one back and reduce another die by one. If you ever have to reduce a one die down, you immediately alert the guard. So if I decided to roll this one, this one would have to spin down. It can't spin down anymore, so it would alert the guard but I would get this other die back and roll both. Um, but I'm not, I'm going to take this one, spin this down to five, roll this one. What are the odds I'll get a four again? Oh, I got a one. So we can't really do anything. So again, I'm going to have to take a die, spin one down, spin this down to four, roll this. And we get a two. Okay. Right, so we have the choice here of this instant. An instant is a choice. You can decide to do it or not. A, an effect, you have to do it. Okay. So an instant. This says I can lose one health to both characters and then take a minus one to the die. That might be worth it because... We are on four here, which is a star. We're on two here. If we take the hits and go down to one, then we've got two stars, which means we will move again. So I think, I 
think, yeah, I think they're going to take the hits. So he's going to use the instant. Uh, so each character is going to take a hit. Oh, but we minus one to this from two to one gives us two stars. Two stars say we can advance forward or take the pick. Is it worth me taking the pick? Because then I can get a star and a tick, which will allow me to move forward. Oh, I'm going. Yeah, I'm going to take. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to take the pick. I'm going to take the pick. There we go. I've got the pick. So I don't move forward because I've taken the pick. Uh, and because it's a, a double start, we take these and we re-roll again. Two fours, so four there, four there. Oh, I'm glad I got that pick. <laughs> because it says if I roll a star and a tick, which I have done, I've taken a star, I can move forward a space. Um, and I have to do a skill check as well. And if I fail the skill check, there's two health lost um, and that can come off any any of the characters so down to, so I'm going to use the pick I'm going to do a skill check let's see if I can pass the skill check a five for Strelsio and a three yep yeah, both in the skill check areas I've passed the skill check and I'm going to move further this is good, we haven't even alerted the guard yet. So we do have these two energy. And we do have the special actions. You can spend one energy at any time to re-roll a die as well. Um, so is it worth spending an energy for her to get a health back? A special action. Yeah. Yep, we're spending energy. She's going to get a health back. And then we roll because we got a double. Well, didn't get a double, but according to the pick we did. So here we go. Our next go to two. Uh, I think I think I'm going to use Inzel May's instant on the two. Place the other die on any number and re-roll this one. So I am going to place this on a, a one. And I'm going to roll this one. And if I get a six, a five or a four, I can hopefully move forward one. Let's see what we get. And we get the four. Lovely. Uh, and it's because it's two stars two stars we don't have to take any skill checks so we've got two stars which means we move forward one I'm doing some good rolling here I've never done this well before and we got two stars we're going to roll again just one more and we've escaped let's see what we get so a three and a four uh, let's have a look how well are we doing? Can we make it out before the guard even makes a move? Um, so three, three. I'm gonna put three there. I'm gonna put the four there. So we have an instant. And it can use another character's instant. Um, I don't think I'm going to use that. No, I don't need to use anything off here. Uh, right, okay, so we didn't get any doubles. So we have to take one back and reduce one. I'm going to take the... F I'm going to take the four back and reduce this to a two. Two. Let's see what we get. We get a two. So we can use Inzel May's instant of place the other die in any number, 
and re-roll this die. So again, I'm going to place this on a one. I'm going to re-roll this one. And we get a four, which is another star. So we've got two stars. We move along one and we've escaped before we've even alerted the guard. Well, that was the easiest game I've played. It usually doesn't go like that. Normally the guard's down here somewhere and the health's down here and all over the place like this. And But this was an easy game. But there you go. That is how you play a Twin Stars game. Like I said, I've already played this one, Escape the Brig. I have not played any of the others, which I'm going to give a go. I've also not played with any other characters apart from these two. So I think this is the easy... The, the, the intro game, just to get you into it. But yeah, so... This is what you get, all these um, in Series 1 which is free for now on PMP Arcade and I'll leave a link below I'll give you a quick view on oops, with Season 2 I have not even looked at any of these so but this is these are three dollars for all this so again you've got where are we characters so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve characters and one two three four five six six scenarios so a quick brief look and if you guys would like me to play another game from series one maybe with different random characters just let me know, I'll give it a go. Whether it'll be as easy as Escape the Break, I don't know. I highly doubt it. But there you go. So, not a bad game for three dollars. Season one. Season, sorry, that's series two, series one. Few extra bits and pieces you can download off PMP Arcade that are free. And that is, if I push all this down, Twin Stars. There you go, guys, a nice short print and play game. You can actually get a, a proper version of this game, proper cards in a wallet. This is just the print and play version if you rather use that, which I did. On PMP Arcade, I'll leave a link below and until next time I will catch you guys later.